I don't know when weekly challenges got added to Gran Turismo 7, but they've really re-engaged me. So I think a few weeks ago I saw you could earn a few hundred thousand credits for completing three weekly challenges. And there were, there were five weekly challenges each week and they were events on... that They were just to do races from the world circuits. This week, for doing five of the races, on the, when you complete the challenge for the fifth race, you get a six-star roulette ticket. So in a short sitting this afternoon, I've done... I've done all five races. Let's just go out of that. The race is nothing special to share. I did record it, but I realised I recorded the entire video without the mic plugged into the headset. So the sound would have been bad because the TV was blaring the sound effects and the mic was the wrong mic. It was really dumb because I had recorded a whole intro, done the race, and then was going to open the ticket. And talked about how weekly challenges re-engaged me. Because, yeah, th this week you get... A, a parts ticket, those don't excite me, but the credits do. The last two weeks, I think I got 100,000 credits for one event and then 250,000 credits for three events. And then there, there's been different things every week. And this week was the first week I saw that you can get a car. And that just motiv motivated me to instantly do these races. And I hadn't actually done this race or this race before. So it's helping me clear through parts of the world circuits that I haven't done because they got added after the, the game was initially re released. And I think this is a really good mechanism to re-engage players that are dropped out because the game's so serious because it's, it's a nice way to farm credits. Like the, 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 the time trials are fun, fun ways to farm credits, but they do require skill to come within X percent of the world record to get the 250,000 credits for bronze or 500,000 for silver or a million for silver. I can't remember what you get for each one. But this doesn't really require much skill. It just requires you to have cars in your garage, which is a brilliant thing because the the, the reason for having cars had been lost when, when, when GT7 added the ability to rent cars to play multiplayer races. The moment they put renting cars in, it stopped me using my garage cars even if I had them because I didn't want to have to change the oil or fix the engine on my car when I can wear out one that I'm renting. But today I get to collect a six-star roulette ticket that's a guaranteed car just for completing those, those weekly the weekly challenges for this week. So let's see what car I get. And I, get the, the I got 200,000 earlier. I got the parts ticket, which I'll open. But I parts don't. And the, the thing about the car, when 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 we could rent every car to play the multiplayer races, all these things about the parts and the engines just mattered less because your cars didn't really matter. They, your cars weren't the ones you needed to do all the events that were on any day. But now, to complete the weekly challenges, the better your garage, the easier it is to complete the weekly challenges. You could, you can. The races were very easy for me because my cars were very good. What car am I getting there? One I've already got. I don't know if I've got any of those. That looked like the cheapest one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I, I, I've, I've got the, I've got the race version of the Suzuki VGT, so I've got a better version. I've got a, a much more expensive version of that car. I don't think I do have that car, so it is nice. But the other ones did look pretty sweet, didn't they? It's the rule of GT7. Whatever's on the wheel, you will get the smallest thing. And I've leveled up. Good luck, guys. I'm madder than you. <laughs>